Today we're doing a quick masterclass on garlic for orchids. We're going to be teaching you how often to use it and why. The storage of your garlic tonic. We're going to be showing you how to use your garlic tonic and we're going to be explaining to you whether you can be using this garlic tonic on other plants. So welcome to the Nature Company. If you're interested in this sort of information Please subscribe below and hit that notification bell to bing bong to be notified of our upcoming videos. Garlic, not only a wonder in a kitchen, but a wonder in the garden. Uh, today I'll be doing a, a very basic garlic tonic, similar to the one I'd done in the previous video with just minor alterations. And we'll be showing you how we go about making this garlic tonic and using it on our orchids. Basically, all we're going to be doing is taking two of these nice plump cloves, which is approximately 10 grams of, of garlic, putting them in our pestle and mortar. We don't need to pound this until it's a, a paste. We're just breaking it up. so that all the active ingredients can then be drawn out by the water. So we're taking distilled water and all we're going to be adding in is 100 mils. So we're going to get 100 mils of water into our, our garlic. Just mixing that in nicely. And then this we're going to allow to stand for 24 hours so that all the active ingredients can be absorbed into the water and out of the garlic. So here we have our pre-prepared garlic water that's been standing for 24 hours. And now all we're gonna do is strain out the rough pieces. And there we have our concentrate that we can use directly as a wipe onto the leaves. Uh, we just wipe the surface on the top and the undersides of the surface. And to dilute this further, uh, to use as a drench or as a spray, what we would then do is take 900 mils of water to make a liter, including our 100 mils of garlic tonic. But when it comes to storing, we're going to be storing the concentrate. The concentrate has a longer shelf life if it's kept without being diluted further. This will last at room temperature for about five days. If we keep it in a refrigerator, we we'll probably get uh, three weeks to about a month of all the active ingredients staying fresh. If you want your garlic tonic to last longer, you can freeze it. It will last up to about two years in your freezer, in your ice cubes, and then when you're ready to use them, you just bang them into your water and let them defrost in the water. So it's always best to use distilled water. This way you're going to have less of a reaction when you're putting your garlic tonic into your water to deactivate the active ingredients. You want a nice neutral water between 5 and 6 pH so that it doesn't deactivate the active ingredients too quickly. Any pH higher or lower in the acidic or alkaline range is going to uh, give it a shorter shelf life and you'll need to use it far quicker. And when it comes to using tap water, even with a neutral pH, you've got to be careful of your salts and minerals that are in the tap water that will also deactivate the active ingredients more quickly. So now we get to the important factor on how often do we use our garlic water or garlic tonic. 
In severe cases, we use it every week, once a week. Uh, but then, after the end of the month, we do flush the orchid. We don't want that excess sulfurs to cause sulfur toxicity in the media. And we don't want the excess organic compounds that are in the garlic water to be leached into the media and slowly rot and ferment, causing bad smells and then causing all sorts of other problems after that as well. So once a week in severe cases with flushing at the end of the month and then as your plant gets healthier so you can reduce your um, frequency until your plant may no longer need it. So when working with garlic uh, you need to be aware that it will acidify your media and with a more acidic media you know it's going to decompose faster and that's going to cause problems with the air spaces in your bark or your other media getting smaller and clogged up with the decomposing matter and not allowing good air circulation around your roots of your orchids. Another essential ingredient in the garlic and why we use it is the allicin. This provides the antibacterial properties. It inhibits the growth of both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. So both your uh, actinobacteria and uh, proteobacteria are reduced by the use of your garlic. So when you've had a sad, poor plant that you're trying to revive, using the garlic helps give it that boost that it needs, fighting off the vicious things that want to attack it and giving it that time to build up the strength. Because along with the other bioactive ingredients that are in the garlic, which helps build up the chlorophyll in your leaves, helps increase the amount of root growth and leaf volume. All of these provide you with a stronger plant that is able then itself to fight off disease and infections from fungus and bacteria and even insect attacks. And if you're wondering what else can garlic do? Well, it's an antifeedant. It's going to ward off those pesky rodents and browsing animals from nibbling off your plants. And this is essential not only for your orchids, but for your house plants. And this is where garlic comes in there too. Not only does it give all the same benefits to your house plants that it does to your orchids, but the amount of root growth and leaf volume that it promotes helps especially at seedling point so that your precious vegetables are given a tremendous start and produce more vegetables than they would have otherwise. So when soaking your orchids to get rid of the pesky algae and bacteria and fungus that might be in your pot, I'd soak it for around 5 to 15 minutes. That should do the trick. So from kitchen to, to garden, garlic's an all-round winner. Thanks for watching, and if you find any of this information useful, please hit that like button, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. Bing bong! Help us grow as we help your plants and orchids grow.